Hey, True Believer Singling Team here with a little bit of a look at Marvel 2 and 1 number 1. And I have to admit, I did not want to like this book. Honestly, I don't even like the concept of it. The Marvel 2 and 1, the older version, was supposed to be a look into the Marvel Universe. It's the thing teamed up with other characters. This is like half of a Fantastic Four book. So, you know, it could have used any other name. And maybe that's the problem. I don't have anything against a team-up book between The Thing and The Human Torch. By all means, bring it on. What I had a problem with was the name Marvel 2-in-1. Use that for the books where you have characters teaming up and where you, you could get to know the Marvel Universe. And, you know, that, the same concept as it was uh, the first time around. It makes sense. And it opens up a world and gets an idea of what people want to see. It would be great. So, I got to admit, I hated this book right from the concept. So, when I picked it up, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the thing is written perfectly. This is old-fashioned thing. The, the speech patterns, the... The art is great. Everything. Chip Zdarsky is starting to impress me. I did not think that was going to happen with the first few issues of Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man. All of a sudden, I'm liking that book and this one. And there's a lot of emotion here as they seem to be dealing with the loss of Reed Richards, Sue, the kids, the whole nine yards. And that's something I have not seen a lot of from either one of these characters. At some point, you have Human Torch, Johnny, excuse me, and he's all depressed and everything, and I'm thinking, wow, he wasn't acting like this when he was stooping Medusa in the Inhumans. So it is it is a bit of a uh, uh, 180 for him, but it, I guess it makes sense story-wise. Also, he's more sad about the fact that his powers are waning rather than the loss of Sue and Reed. That at least has to be addressed. I don't think that he should be the same young hothead that he was because he shouldn't be considered young anymore. You know, he should be 30 to 35 at this point. But at least it would show that while he does care and he puts for others and he puts himself in harm's way to help others, that sometimes he does think selfishly and he thinks about himself first and that's understandable if you think somebody's gone if you think somebody's dead you move on and you do have your own problems that you now have to deal with and I can understand that I love the flashback scenes I I really did I love the scenes where the the whole Fantastic Four it kind of makes the book it reminds you and it kind of hits you in the feels and then when Dr. Doom comes on he's Dr. Doom He's not this Iron Man light that was played up in uh, in Iron Man. God damn it, Doctor Doom would not call himself Iron Man. So, yeah, I always hated that. But he's done very well here. I like it. I gotta say, I mean, you know, just every every bit of this review should just be seen as while it is not the perfect book, it is a good book. It's one that I recommend. A lot. I think I think anybody picking this up would enjoy it. And it does kind of foreshadow a return of the Fantastic Four, which we're kind of seeing that it could happen. I mean, heck, if uh, they Disney bought Fox, they're back under the fold. There's no reason for Pearl Mutter to feel anything against the fact that 20th Century Fox now owns Fantastic Four, because they don't. Bring them on back, gang, and then. You know, we can see who actually cares. Because let's face it, a lot of people want them back, but not a lot of people bought the book the first time. I would. I love the book. I love Fantastic Four. And as far as this iteration of the Marvel 2-in-1 book, while, like I said, conceptually I don't like it, as narratively, as far as the art's concerned, as far as the story's concerned, I enjoy this look quite a bit. I'm happy that it's here. I want to read more. I think it, it's going to be cool. But then again, the Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man book switched on a dime to become good. 
this may go the other direction. It's going to take a few issues to really find out if I really, really like the title. But this particular issue, yeah, I, I can give a good grade to. And that's for no other reason than our heroes are acting like the heroes that they should be and the characters they should be, and that's more important. But even more important than that is the villain is acting like a villain again. And that is something I've been waiting for a long, long time. Dr. Doom is back. 